Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be going over how to make a very simple grid shader in Blender. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I'm in a new file here. I deleted the default cube and the light. I am just gonna go ahead, actually I didn't delete the light, but I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a mesh plane and I'm gonna scale it up by 10. I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, object, apply scale here, uh, save my project and hop over to the shading tab. Now. I'm going to naturally go to cycles because I love cycles. So let's go ahead to cycles. This will work in EV2. It should. I'm going to go to my GPU. I'm going to add in a quick environment texture here just so we have some basic lighting on our scene. Uh, sorry, guys. Let me just navigate to my HDRI folder and something like this should do. So we have our nice environment texture loaded in here. Let's go ahead and click on our plane and click on a new material. So right here, we're gonna have our node editor. Um, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add in a brick texture, right? So I'm just typing to search for that brick texture. I'm gonna plug my color into the base color. And already we have basically half of what is this grid shader. First thing you wanna do is set that offset to zero, and then I'm gonna zoom in here, and then your scale, we can adjust that later, but for now, the brick width and height need to be exactly the same. So I'm gonna set those both to 0.2, and as you can see, we already have a grid shader. But I wanna kinda of take it to the next level here. I wanna actually make this kind of like those green um, mats that you put on your desk that you do crafts on. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a green color here, maybe a little bit darker, something like that, and then I'm gonna hover over this color copy it, control C, and then paste it onto the next color. I'm also gonna paste it onto the third, and then I'm gonna click on the third color, which is our mortar color, and I'm just gonna raise this just slightly here. I'm also gonna go to the mortar size, and I'm gonna make it 0 .005, something more like that. And as you guys can see, we have this awesome grid shader already. Now, if we look at the light source, we'll notice it's very harsh with the roughness. You guys can adjust this. You can make it more metallic if you'd like to. Um, this is kind of where you guys get to customize the way that this looks. Now, I personally think this looks great, so I'll probably go with this, but I just wanted to show you guys how to create a simple grid shader. Again, the keys here, the key takeaways for that brick texture. Let me just zoom out so you guys can see the nodes. The offset has to be zero. The width and the height of the bricks have to be the exact same. And then you don't, you wanna make that mortar size nice and thin so that you can really see those lines. Now, at this point, you can adjust your scale. So holding shift while I drag this scale slider, we can really easily scale this. So if you want a really big grid, you can do something like that. And again, you guys can get really precise. I think if you do 1.4, that should be almost exact. Um, and again, that is pretty much how you do that, guys. So that's pretty much the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this because a lot of the animations and the things that I showcase, I love to put a grid floor shader underneath to kind of show a sense of scale, um, especially when it comes to things that are supposed to be like scientific or experiment related. It's just a really easy shader to make super quickly. You guys can go ahead and plug stuff into the bump or plug stuff into the roughness. You guys can give it a little bit of uh, texturing on the surface. But it, for the most part, that is how you make the grid shader. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and have a great day.